another uh, name they call Santa Claus? Saint Nick. Saint Nick, right? Right. You heard of that? Old Saint Nick. Read that definition for me. Use as the name of the devil. Use as the name of who? The devil. The devil. Yeah! The devil. Do you serve any other gods? Do you put them above the one true God? Are you sure? Didn't you just say a moment ago that you celebrate a holiday that is evil for your children? All right. Watch it. Just listen, sis. Didn't we read earlier that old Saint Nick is another term for the devil? Understand this. If you're not worshiping the one true God and serving another God, by default, you are serving the devil. That's what you got to understand. How you doing? My name is Amos. What's your name? Dewanda. All right, so you're learning a few things here tonight, right? Now, one of the things that you said when the officer was teaching was the reason why five days from now, I think it is, today is the 20th, five days from now, you're going to be celebrating with your children, right? Right? That, that's what you said? Now, what he's bringing out to you is some very heavy stuff because all of us at some point, we were a part of the Christian church. And these are the things that we learned when we were in that atmosphere. My brother, how you doing? Come on over, what's your name? Edward. Edward? Yeah. I'm Amos, nice to meet you. So we talking about this thing that the world calls Christmas. This is something that most people that we see around here is gonna be celebrating on the 25th, right? You gonna be doing the same? Supposedly, right? Same thing you said, sis. Why? That's what we all have known to do. But where do we learn it? You know. Where did we learn it? Where did you learn it? Uh, okay. Okay. I, and, and you were saying that you were doing this for the children, but do you know where you learned it from, sis? I'll tell you where I learned it. I learned it when I was going to church. That was the first time I ever even saw a Christmas tree. What? And what do they tell you in the church? That Christ is the reason for the season. Right? Yeah. That's what they say. So this is where we learn these things from. But now, that's what the pastors in the Christian churches have taught us. But is that what God's word has taught us? Have you ever had a pastor come to either one of you and take you to the scriptures and show you that this holiday is something that we should be celebrating? You never had that, right? Have you had it, sis? But we do have something quite the opposite, all right? Number one, let's go back because my brother wasn't here yet. Let's go back to Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse one. Now, sis, you heard some of this, so you should be able to help brother Edward here to understand what it is that you learned so far, right? Read this again from the top. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So the Lord is talking to the children of Israel. If you look over at this sign, you'll see the children of Israel are comprised of these 12 tribes of people. So, sis, come on over and take a look. I don't think you got a chance to see it. Most likely, you two are from the tribe of Judah because you're so-called African-American, correct? Correct. So the Bible calls you Judah. As a matter of fact, guess what? Guess whose tribe that is? Yep. That's the tribe that Jesus Christ came from. Yep. So that's your lineage. That's your family. You come from the same bloodline as Christ. So guess what? Who you look like? If you come from the same bloodline as Christ, like you look like Christ. Yes, Since the same for you. The Bible does not describe Jesus Christ as a white man like we see down here. 
This is what they taught us, right? That's where we got Christmas from. The same people who did this to us. Take a look, take a picture. You remember slavery. You remember that we came over here how? Look at that. We came over here on cargo slave ships from Africa. And we were scattered through all nations on the earth. And when we came here to this land, one of the things that we were taught was Christianity. Bring it up. During the teaching of Christianity, we learned about Christmas. So now let's go to the Bible and see if the Bible lines up with what we learned during slavery. Read. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. The Bible says don't learn the way of the heathen. What is a heathen? I know y'all heard this, especially you, Edward. You, you from my time frame. Devil. Uh, okay, devil. hey, I like that word. That's a good word, but what it means is any other nation outside of the nation of Israel. That's what it usually means. But for the point of what we're talking about now, heathens is talking about everybody else other than who's on this sign. Right? So, say again? That's right. So, he said, read it again. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So don't learn their ways. We didn't, we didn't celebrate Christmas when we were in our homeland. We didn't decorate a tree. We didn't wear uh, the, the, the garments that Santa Claus wears, the, the red hat and all of that crap. And as a matter of fact, while I'm speaking about this dude, Santa Claus, spell it for me. Spell his first name. Spell Santa. S-A-N-T-A. Mix those letters up a little bit and tell me what you get. S-A-T-A-N. Satan. The devil. So again, this is stuff that we learned when we came here in slavery. This is not something that we're supposed to be following. But the Bible's going to make it even clearer. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Don't be dismayed at the stars and the moon and all of those things that the other nations are dismayed about. They're concerned. They're worried about this stuff because they don't know God. They don't have a God. Read on. For the customs of the people are vain. Their customs that God is telling us not to learn, like Christmas, like Thanksgiving that you just celebrated, like New Year's that you're supposedly going to celebrate in January, those customs are based on lies. That's what it means that they're vain. I want to show you something. Stay right there. I want to show you something. What's another uh, name they call Santa Claus? Saint Nick. Saint Nick, right? Could you come here real quick? This is Old St. Nick, right? You heard of that, Old St. Nick. Read that definition for me. What that say? Use as the name of the devil. Use as the name of who? The devil. The Ooh. devil. Yeah. The yeah. devil. Oh, Old St. Nick, Santa Claus, they have fooled our people into worshiping Satan. You know the jolly old white fat man that says ho, ho, ho? According to definition, Miriam Webster's definition. The, the definition says that's another name for the devil. But the question should be is, how come we grew up keeping Christmas? Why is that? Let me ask you, says, why did we grow up keeping Christmas? You gotta go. You you heard that you heard that before. Okay, you got it, okay. You believe it. You believe what we're saying before you go. Before you go. So now you just learned that jolly old Saint Nick is the devil. Should you celebrate Christmas from this day forward? I'm asking, should you celebrate it from this day forward? No, why? Because it's of the devil. Because it's of the devil. And it's make believe. But what should you do from this day on before you walk away, sir? What should you start doing? Worshiping God. You should start worshiping God. How do we worship God? Give me Matthew 19 and 16 real quick. I just want to share this with y'all because our people don't know this. A lot of our people didn't know that Santa Claus is actually the, sev the uh, Satan according to the Bible. Our people don't know that. All right, so we're out here to teach our people, according to the scriptures, what we must do to inherit eternal life. Read that. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, 
One came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Brother Edward, did you hear what the question was? What good thing must I do that I might get the kingdom of heaven? And I know that's what you want, right? You want eternal life in heaven. Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Christ said to him, Why are you calling me good? There's only one that's good. Now don't call me good. He was humble. Read. That is God. He's saying God is the only one that's good. Y'all listen up. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life. So instead of celebrating Christmas, instead of doing things that are against the word of God, instead of worshiping Satan, God said to do what? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. We've got to keep God's commandments. If we do not keep God's commandments and we continue to go against the word of God, if we continue to celebrate Christmas, if we continue to celebrate all of these holidays that are not in this book, we are not going to get the kingdom of heaven and eternal life. That makes sense? What's your name, bro? Jay, come on back over here, Edward Jay. So, all right, you got a flyer, right? All right, Jay. So you hear what we're talking about, right? What are you going to be doing in five days? You going to be working? Okay, all right. Ain't nothing wrong with working. It's okay to work. What day is that falling on? Yeah, what, what day of the week is that? Oh, okay. All right, I, I don't really know. Because I, I ain't up on the 25th like most folks, most folks here. But that's cool. But my point is this. What we're learning out here tonight, my sister said that the reason why she's going to be celebrating Christmas, which you know now is of the devil, right? You heard that. Do you believe that? Or do you understand it? You want us to go back over it? Okay, you understand it. She's celebrating it because why, sis? For the kids. Get out. She said she's celebrating it for the kids. Where is his name? Naphtali. Naphtali is your son's name? Bring it out. Bring it what? Out. You named him that. Well, his father's middle name is that. That's his father's middle name. That is a mighty name. Right. That is one of the names of the 12 sons of Israel. That's right. That's right. The 12 tribes that we all derive from. That's a, that's a biblical name. That's a strong name. So you shouldn't be teaching him things against the book that he was named by. You should be teaching him the things that the Bible says. And I'm going to show you why that mindset is not the proper mentality, sis. But we got to change it. Are you celebrating Christmas too? You doing it for the kids? Oh, okay, all praise. Read, read what you got. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Question. I got a question. We're talking about the Ten Commandments, right? Do you put any other God before the, the Most High God? Do you do that? You say you do? Which, okay, so who do you serve more than God? You said you do put someone above God. Who do you put above God? Okay, so I ask you again. I'm going to make sure we're on the same page. Do you serve any other gods? Do you put them above the one true God? Are you sure? Didn't you just say a moment ago that you celebrate a holiday that is evil for your children? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I asked a question. Did you say that? A moment? You did. Didn't God say not to do it? That's what I did not wait, wait, wait. Didn't God say not to celebrate Christmas? <laughs> Jeremiah 10 again. Because no. we're not out here for us. We out here to make a connection with our people. Right. So I want you to understand before you leave today that God is telling us not to celebrate Christmas. Wow. All right. Watch this. Just listen, sis. Well, there you go. So your kids are more important than God. No, but yes, they are. They because right. God said don't celebrate Christmas, sis. Right. It's that simple. See, no, no, no. There's no buts with God. It's either you that. do it it's either you do it or you don't. It's either you keep God's commandments or you break God's commandments. It's either you're righteous or you're wicked. That's right. One or the other. There's no in-between. You understand that, sis? 
All right, read that. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. You are Israelites, sis. Remember, you pointed to the sign earlier. You from the tribe of Judah. So the Bible speaking to you. Watch this. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. God says, don't follow after the other nations. If you did not know, America, this is the land of the heathen. Why? Because the European man, the white man, rules this earth. Yes, this particular country, the United States of America. And guess what? He has things like Valentine's Day. He has things like Christmas, Thanksgiving, which is the celebration of the slaughter of our own relatives. But yet we follow it, right? But we're getting back to Christmas. So God says, don't learn the ways of the heathen. Watch this, sis. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. The signs of heaven is things like the sun, the moon, and the stars. God says, don't get caught up in that. Those things like, um, what's it called, zodiac signs? You understand astrology? That's for the other nations. That's not for us. So God says, don't get caught up in things like that, sis. Watch this. For the customs of the people are vain. Read. For one cut of a tree out of the forest. The reason why we're taking our time and going over it again with you is because we really want you to understand. That's a lot of our people on December the 25th, they're going to be celebrating what God commanded us not to do. Right. And what a lot of people don't understand is that there's going to be a judgment and a recompense for breaking God's commandments. Right. And we don't want you to feel his judgment because it's going to be very bad. Do you understand what I'm telling you, sis? Read that part again. For the customs of the people are vain for one cut of a tree out of the forest. What holiday do people cut trees down out of the, out of the forest and bring it into the house? What holiday do they do that? Christmas is very easy to be understood, right? Read it again. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Three. They deck it with silver and with gold. So when they bring that tree in their house, they decorate it with silver and gold. Is that not what they do today on December the 25th? Go yeah. back to verse 2. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. God says, learn not the way of the heathen. Isaiah 5 and 20. God says, don't do what the heathen do. Wow. Don't put the tree in your house. Don't decorate it with silver and gold. Are you one of those people who put the tree in the house like a month before and put the lights up? Do you have a tree in your house right now? Right. So you, you did it before the 25th. You put it up last night. So sis, what did God just say? What did he just say about that tree? No, sis, we're not playing. This is not a joke. God ain't playing with, you're not playing. What did God just say? Yeah. What he's saying? So you just put it up last night. So what should you do tonight? Take it down. Take, it, take, it down. take that wicked tree down. Yeah. Yeah. Deuteronomy 7 and 25. Take it down. And then give me Matt, uh, Isaiah 5. This is a commandment because like the officer was going over, it's more than just 10. Here's another commandment pertaining to idolatry, pertaining to that wicked Christmas tree. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 25. The graven images. The graven images. Read. Of their gods. Of their gods. Didn't we read earlier that old Saint Nick is another term for the devil? Yeah. Understand this. If you're not worshiping the one true God and serving another God, by default, you are serving the devil. That's what you got to understand, sis. Read it again. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. God commanded us at this time to burn idols with fire. Today, take it out of your house, sis. Take it out. That's number one. You can throw it away. I don't want you to burn your house down. You understand? But make sure that wicked idol is removed from your house. Yes, Read right. that all the way through. Come on. The 
graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that... Wait, wait. Thou shalt not desire the what? The silver or gold... The silver or the gold that they... That you deck the tree with, right? Yeah. God says don't desire that. Is that hard to be understood, my sister? Right. Because we're the wisest people on the face of the earth. That's we're very right. intelligent. When you hear God's words, that's why you're like, because uh, it, it resonated with your spirit. Because you are, you are a child of God, literally. That's, right. that's why it convicted you like that. What club was that at? <laughs> I admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You're leaving me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. What the hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 30. You understand? That's why you made excuse left and right because you know what you were doing was wrong. Right. Right. Read that part again about the silver and gold. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them. Go ahead. Nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein. If you take it unto you, if you bring it in your house, you bring it in your house. Yes. You need to even right. think about it like that, sis. But guess what? What are we reading? The Bible. Right. We're reading the Bible. That's probably in the house collecting dust. Hey, there you go. Another uh, struck another chord. But this is the this is the thing. This is the thing, sis. This is why the Most High God of Israel, God of the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, put the Spirit on His prophets in the last days to come out and teach you the truth. That's right. You're not That's right. you're not gonna hear this on Sunday when right. you go to church. They're not going to teach you this. Why? They got a Christmas tree in a damn church. Yes, yes, yes. To show you what? The Christian church today is of the devil. Yes, right. Now you're now you thinking like, wait, 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 wait. That was a pretty bold statement. Yes. If it doesn't line up with the word of God, by default, it is of the devil. Yes, yes, right. Right. Okay, I'll give you one last scripture. I'm going to close down. Give me Isaiah 5 and 20. Yo. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 You ain't never held the bathroom before <laughs> You ever been on a long car ride But you knew you had to make it but you held it Sis Can you hold it for the Lord Can you hold Can you hold it for the Lord just a few more minutes It's alright There you go my sister Read what you got Woe unto them Wait a second She just dropped her, uh, her um, ear pods so I want you to pay attention. Maybe the Lord wanted those ear pods to fall so you can pay attention. Watch this. Woe unto them! You know what I mean? Hey, hey, sis. What if a car skipped that lane and, and came on this curb? I would probably say, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Why would I say whoa? To do what? That means what's coming? A vehicle. That's danger. Because it could kill us, right? So read the Bible again. Whoa! What? Whoa! So the Bible said, hey, look out, danger's coming. You understand? Read it again. Woe unto them that call evil good. Wait a second, read it again. I want you to pay close attention. Woe unto them that call evil good. The Bible say, woe unto the person that calls evil good. Is Christmas good or evil? It's what? Read it again. Woe unto them that call evil good. So the Bible says, they, oh my goodness gracious. Now she says she got to go again. The Bible says danger. You remember, yeah. you remember Mystical from back in the 90s, right? No Limit? Danger. Remember that? I know you remember that song. The Bible saying the same thing. Get on the floor. Why? Because Christ is coming back to kill you. That's right. That's right. You better hide. Because he's not going to forget your iniquities. You understand that thing, sis? Watch this. Hold that. Psalm 711. We know you got to go, sis. We, we wrapping it up for you. But before you go, we, we want to make sure that you don't miss the point. Watch this. Psalm chapter 7, verse 11. Listen up. God judges the righteous. God judges the righteous. Listen up. And God is angry with the wicked every day. How often? Every day. So understand this. Just because the judgment hasn't come yet, 
It don't mean that God is not mad at you for blatantly breaking his commandments. You understand that, sis? So what should you do tonight? Take the tree out of my house. Take the tree out of the house. What if the kids complain? They just got to complain. They just got to complain. Let's get a sister a round of applause. That's called repentance. Acts 319, and we'll close out so my sister could do what she got to do. Get Watch out. this. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. And we're going to walk you through repentance in one verse. Watch this. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And ye shall send Jesus Christ, and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you. Right. So you need to repent so you can receive the Holy Spirit, and ultimately so you can get saved. Now, sis, you're attired. Let me ask you, should you be wearing uh, stockings out here, out in the open like that? No. You shouldn't. What should you have on? Huh? Come on, sis. What should you be wearing? The clothing that I have on, why should I wear stockings? You, should, you shouldn't wear stockings on Sunday, don't you? No, you wear stockings underneath a dress. Yes. Yes. You don't just wear undergarments out in the open for every Tom, Dick, and Harry to look at you. That's what you wear, sis. You wear you leggings. Those are leggings. Right? Yes. Why should every man be able to see what God gave you? No. You never thought about it like that. How, how they see sis, because they can see your shape. Yeah. Sis, if I, if I sit here and really put my eyes down, I would be ashamed. Why? Because I got a wife at home. Yeah. But you're putting all your business on display. You should not do that. Right. That should be for your husband only. Right. Yes. Do you understand that? You shouldn't be walking around like that, sis. Why? Because you are a daughter of the living God. Yes. You've never been told that. Reason why you've never been told that? Because you're around a bunch of people who don't love you. Yes. Bring it out. Bring it out. We're the prophets of God. We're going to tell you like it is. Not to break you, not to disrespect you, but to build you up. Yes. So you can inherit the kingdom of heaven. Because like this, you ain't going to make it. But once you put on that dress and cover your head and be modest and keep God's commandments and stop celebrating Christmas, you on your way to the top. Yes. You understand, sis? I pray you do. What's your name? My name Mac. Sawanda. Sawanda. Did you get a flyer tonight? I did. All right, so what are you going to do with that flyer? Read it. You're going to read it? You're going to call? You're going to contact us, sis? Information. Yeah. yeah, our information is right on the back. We have our website. Our social media on the back, just flip it on the back. And we have a school in Monticello, Florida, sis. We teach what? Sis, what did I read tonight? Did I make up my own words or did I read a specific book? And what's the name of that book, sis? The Bible. See that? So you know it's not all words. We're speaking, thus saith the Lord. So, sis, do your research. You understand? And come join us. Come meet your other sisters who are keeping God's commandments as well. Right. All right? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Oh, you know.